The Pixel 6 should be sold at $299, maybe $399. Let me explain. Google and all the other big tech companies are making record profits right now. They have never made so much money. It's making huge amounts of money. And look at around. Look around at all these hundreds of millions of people losing their jobs and out of work and having low income. Google, please, you have to do something for all these people. Get them a phone at cost. And here's the thing. You'll be making more money by doing it. Because instead of selling 100,000 phones per year, which is more or less what you've been doing for the last 10 years, some kind of failed circus circus act or whatever it's called you know you've been selling these pixel phones to clowns on on the uh, on blogs and whatever and whoever is buying these it's, it's like so few people i mean what have you been thinking why would you want to copy apple you don't need to copy apple apple is a hardware scamming company they will sell phones at triple or quadruple the cost of manufacturing they've been doing that their whole lives They've been doing that for, for more than a decade, you know. You don't need to do that. You can, you can just sell the phones at cost and sell 100 times more of them. Just sell 100 million phones. Just do it. Place the order. Call the fab. Call the factory and say, we want to have 100 millions for sale. And just do it globally in every single country. Sell in Indonesia. Sell in India. Sell in... Uh, Bangladesh sell in everywhere in every country even sell in China hey why not just go sell everywhere and you can be selling them at cost and no it's not controversial the manufacturers might complain but then hey at the same time uh, I mean the manufacturers I mean like Samsung because they are, you know, using Android and they want to sell, make profits on the hardware. The thing is, you could be sharing in the Play Store revenue, which for you is peanuts. But for other companies, it could be significant. For you, it's not even 2% of your profits. Don't hang on to your App Store profits as some kind of uh, thing that matters. It doesn't matter to you, Google. It doesn't matter to Apple, even. You know, Apple, they don't need to have these 30% on, on, on in-store um, uh, app pay, in-app payments. No need. It makes no sense. It doesn't change anything for them. The bulk of the money is in advertising. Every time you use Google Maps, every time you use Gmail, every time you use um, um, Google Search, every time you're on YouTube, they learn more and more about you and they show you better and better ads. Not just on your phone. They show this on your laptop and desktop. That's how they make money. They make the, the Google has been making trillions of dollars on the Android ecosystem over the last decade. Trillions of dollars. Every single time Google makes one dollar revenue, it has some kind of uh, effect and um, is being affected by the smartphone ecosystem, even if you're not using the smartphones. Because they learn from all these people around in their cars with Google Maps. They learn everything about every everything. And by, by learning everything about everything, they can show better ads. So, hey, Google, you're an advertising company. You don't need to copy Apple. You don't need to be an Apple. Just let Apple be Apple and be Google. Stay Google. Just be Google that kills Apple by selling phones at half the cost of the iPhone or even a third of the cost of the iPhone. I'm not saying you have to sell them below cost. No, just sell them whatever the hardware costs. You can sell them around two, three hundred dollars, maybe four hundred, depends, because you are supposedly having cutting edge ARM processors. But hey, now it's yours. You don't need to pay Qualcomm anymore. You don't need to sign the Qualcomm agreement that says that you have to sell your phones above a certain limit to get the latest Qualcomm cutting edge chipsets which if th if that's true i think it's ridiculous but this i think it's been going on for a decade every time there's a new qualcomm chipset the, whoever's getting early access to this has signed with qualcomm that they cannot sell them in cheap phones that's what i understand now that's the main advantage of making your own chip is that you don't have to follow this rule anymore so sell these goddamn phones cheap make it cheap so everybody can afford them in every country 
and that would be making the world a better place and it would be making you so much more money. Why? Because if you get so many more people using flagship phones, then you will be making so much more money with advertising. It's easy to understand, no? And it's the same mistake you, Google has been making with the Chromebooks for a decade now. The investment in the ARM ecosystem has been so lacking from Google. It's been so disappointing because I w I've always been a huge fan of Google, but at the same time very disappointed with all the missed opportunities and even the Chromecast, which I was a fan of since the first second because I was doing videos about stuff that looks like Chromecast years before the Chromecast came out. It's, it's been a failure because it could have had so much more. The Chromecast, they should all have shipped with a full Google and Android TV kind of experience. They should all have had a Chromebook kind of experience on the TV or whatever display that you disconnected to because there's no reason it, it shouldn't. The, the ARM processors have been powerful enough for this. It's only been a wrong choice to not do it. And it, it, it led to the fragmentation of the smart TV ecosystem, which is still fragmented to this day with all these too many different OS. That means the, the apps aren't getting as good as they should because the app developers can't afford developing their apps for four or five different systems. So uh, hopefully um, people will um, focus a little bit less on all these, these um, smartphone cameras because they all crap. Even the f best smartphone cameras are way worse than my father's 60-year-old Leica camera. Okay, just compare photo next to photo. A Leica from 1962 takes better quality photos than your $1,000 smartphone today. What is that? Who are we as a species to not be able to do better than what we were doing in the 60s. Same thing for going to space. We are, we're still not back on the moon. I mean, we'll hopefully be soon. But um, anyways, I'm just saying, stop being so obsessed with the smartphone camera's quality. If you care about cameras, and it's good that people care about cameras, get a camera. If you have a baby, if you have children, if you have family or friends that you want to take photos, nice videos of them, get a camera. My camera is probably a little bit out of focus, but that's because it's a Panasonic. But um, yeah, I'm trying to go manual right now. Um, it's uh, it's like five, six hundred dollars secondhand Panasonic G9. Nothing beats it. I mean, it's out of focus a little bit, but otherwise nothing beats it. And oh, get a Sony or get some, you know, like for a thousand dollars, you can get a full frame camera. So um, the, the, I, th I don't think the, the camera is a good argument and it doesn't cost that much. It's a tiny sensor. They, they're not even using one inch sensors. It's tiny sensors they have in these smartphones. They need to be getting to one inch and micro four thirds uh, uh, size sensors in these smartphones. Why not? Who cares about the bump? But that's okay. That's a different argument. That's in the whole section of why aren't you innovating section the whole industry should be innovating so much more than what they're doing right now they're just coming with pretty much like an iphone spec phone at iphone priced phone but just with android which is a little bit sad that it's still going on a decade after it should have stopped i mean xiaomi is going to kind of like looks like they're taking over the market and they're not doing that, hopefully. I mean, their, their, their whole concept is to sell cheap, and that's great. But hey, Google, you should be doing that. You should stop doing stuff like Apple. Stop selling $1,000 Chromebooks. Stop selling $1,000 phones. It's, it's pathetic, and it's, it's, a, it's a scam. And uh, it's kind of sad that you would be doing that. It makes no sense. For you, it's peanuts. Why would you want to have these hardware profits what are you going to do with them when you have like trillions coming in from the advertising business there's no need for this and it's actually hurting your advertising potential because you could be making so much more money on advertising by just focusing on advertising what you're good at so sell these phones at cost and sell hundreds of millions of them in every country not just eight countries it's really simple and people are going to tell me oh the r d is so expensive no it's a fixed cost every 
the, the, the R&D, if you sell 100,000 phones per year, like what they're doing now, or if you sell 100 million phones, the R&D cost is the same. And development cost is the Android ecosystem. Google is doing Android. So stop saying that it's developers or R&D. It's not true. It's just not true. And if Google is spending hundreds of millions of dollars developing their ARM processor, great. But that's a fixed cost. You could be selling hundreds of millions of devices. You should be selling hundreds of millions of devices. If you spend two, three, four hundred dollar million dollars to develop a CPU, then it would be pathetic to sell just a few hundred thousand phones. And you're going to be doing that and continue to do that if you continue selling the phones at the same price like the iPhone. Stop doing that. There's no need. Just scale and call your suppliers. Make sure the cost is right. When you say, I want 100 million pieces, what's the price? And sell them at that price to the consumer. And you know what? There'll be less um, antagonistic kind of like pursuits going on with all the politicians coming after you because if you do something good for the people like giving them phones pretty much at cost why would the EU complain with you anymore why would the US uh, who, whatever complain with you they, well, they wouldn't complain anymore because you'd be doing something good and they'd be happy that pretty much you're giving back by making more money but you're still giving back because everybody needs great phones everybody even politicians everybody needs great phones so Try to provide, because you're, you're in a position where you can, uh, year after year, you keep making these little experiments, whatever you should be called. Stop making it an experiment and start really changing the world by just making them available everywhere at cost, super cheap. It's really simple. And then also, that tensor overflows. It flows over to the Chromebook. So when you connect your phone to a TV, there should be a full Chromebook on the TV. You, you need to have a PC mode. You need to have full productivity from the Type-C port. And it's something you've been skipping since 2012 and Google's been acquiring Motorola. They still haven't done what the Atrix was doing all the way back in 2012. Okay, but now is the time to give back.